I direct the Usher of the Black Rod to remove the member from the chamber. The member is excluded from the chamber until the conclusion of question time. Get thrown out when you've killed the Darwin River. What a disgrace. You're the disgrace. You're the disgrace. You killed the Darwin River. Minister, on announcing the pipeline, pipeline from the Murray River to Broken Hill, the Deputy Premier said the pipeline, and I quote, reduces the need for further buybacks of productive water, end quote. Minister, why has the government prioritised upstream irrigation over the health of the Darling River and the farmers and communities that rely on it? Why are you killing the Darling River, mate? Mr President, I, I thank the member for his question and, and uh, what I'll do is I'll explain uh, explain the, the, the comments uh, from the Deputy Premier and how that relates to making sure that in New South Wales we continue to provide a triple bottom line for all of our regional communities. Yeah, yeah. Mr oh. President, we're not about picking winners and losers and what we've been able to do consistently through our water policy and in particular with our announcement about securing the long-term supply for Broken Hill is ensuring that we have that tri triple bottom line approach to the way that we address uh, water in our regional communities but more importantly how we address our obligations under the Murray-Darling Basin Plan. In relation to the comments of why we should no longer need to start to take uh, or have any more buybacks out of New South Wales, it's very clear, Mr President. Firstly, most of our valleys, particularly in the northern part of the state, have already had water recovered out of those valleys. And when we look at above Menindee Lakes, 130 gigalitres has already been recovered out of those valleys in New South Wales. So for the member opposite to start running this line and criticising those communities, those regional communities that use agricultural as the underpinning um, driving uh, economic driver of those communities is wrong, Mr President. It is not just wrong. It's absolutely, absolutely playing politics with communities that don't deserve his view when it comes to picking winners and losers, no, Mr no, President. No. The, fact, the fact that 130 gigalitres has been recovered out of our northern bases means that we can confidently say, and what I remind the member that he does support the Murray-Darling Basin Plan, this, this 130 gigalitres no, has, been, has been taken out of those communities. We can stand here today and say that our irrigation communities around Walgett, our irrigation communities around Moree, and the, the communities that, that, that survive as part of that are the most efficient, uh, most efficient in this country, Mr President. Oh. What we are saying as well and have said all along is that we believe that we should be saving water and putting it back into the environment through water efficiency, through infrastructure projects, not just buying water out of our productive regional communities. That's what this does as well, Mr President. That's what the long-term solution does. We have said, we have said consistently that the Broken Hill issue is broken up into three parts. Firstly, it was about securing the short-term supply for the community of Broken Hill. That's what we did. <coughs> We put the money in to find that short-term solution water source. We put the money in to build the reverse osmosis plant. Let all the water Order! I call the Honourable Jeremy Bucking to order for the second time. I hear the member say the first thing we did was let the water out of the lakes, Mr President. Environmental flows were let out of those Menindee lakes by the Commonwealth. Environmental flows firstly by the Commonwealth. The second releases when it came to the of New order, the Honourable order. Mr Jeremy Buckingham has been warned. He's had two calls to order. I would ask him to remain silent for the balance of the minister's uh, answer. Mr President, the first release out of those lakes was a Commonwealth call on environmental flows. The subsequent release, once it came down to that operations level of that 480 gigs, was a New South Wales environmental release as well. Is the, is the member now opposite? Is the member opposite now saying that we should not be doing environmental releases of water? Is that what you're saying? Is that what he's saying? That's what he's saying. Is that what he's saying, Mr President? That we we did the short-term supply. Now we have secured the long-term supply for broken. Hill. The third stage is us to talk with Canberra about how we can recommission and reconfigure Order. We want a healthy river system, we want viable communities, and we want towns like Broken Hill to prosper. That's what we've done. Minister's time is here. President.
Mr. Jeremy Buckingham, on a oh, uh, presumably no. a supplementary yes, question. Yes, it is, Mr. Yes. President. A supplementary question, <laughs> Mr. President. Um, uh, could the minister please elucid, uh, elucidate his answer by informing the House on the 130 gigalitres of water he said had been bought out? Was that water bought out of New South Wales or Queensland? Mr President, I thank the member for his question, and this is something that he has asked me about previously when we talk about um, the water recovery in the northern part and the whole reason why New South Wales has been advocating for the Northern Basin Review to be completed as soon as possible, because the majority of the lifting, the majority of the lifting with water recovery in the Northern Basin has come out of New South Wales valleys, Mr President. The, the majority of the heavy lifting has, has come out of the New South Wales has come out of the New South Wales valleys, Mr He's President. Order! Mr President, that is why we have advocated to Canberra that the Northern Basin Review must be completed as soon as possible. I gave the figures about what's been recovered out of our Northern Valleys, Mr President, because we know that that has... I call the honour Mr Jeremy Buckingham to order for the third time and in accordance with Standing Order 192, I direct the Usher of the Black Rod to remove the member from the chamber. The member is excluded from the chamber until the conclusion of question time. You're the disgrace. Kill the Darwin River.